got like a little shaky hand. Yeah, I usually catch him pretty good on this. Shaky head. That's what I'm throwing right here. A Zoom Magnum Finesse Worm, which is plain old green pumpkin. Spread that on a 316 ounce shaky head. The key is a barely dipping tail and a little bit of chartreuse. Alright guys, I got a big one hooked up here on a crankbait. Look at that one. Look at that. Barely hooked. Yes! Oh my gosh, look at that one. That's a four pounder right there. I was just trolling along. I saw some fish busting. So I just threw that Strike King 1.5 in there and he nailed it. Still bloody. That's a nice fish.
right there. Go back in there and see if we can't get another one. Look at that one. Every bit of five pounds right there. Let him go. Caught that fish on the dirty jigs, three quarter ounce football head jig, paired up with a Green pumpkin, net bait, baby pack of crawl. Alright guys, so unfortunately my camera died while I was out fishing just like I expected. But I just got back to the house, so I want to take a minute to show you the gear I was using today. First off, I was throwing a 316 count shaky head. This is just a green pumpkin zoom magnum finesse worm. And I was dipping the tail in just a little bit of chartreuse dye. And I was throwing that on my six foot medium G Loomis IMX shaky head rod paired up with a Shimano 2500 size reel. And I had that spooled with 30 pound Max Quattro. A power Pro braid with 10 pounds sunlight fluorocarbonator. And that's what I used to catch the majority of those smaller spots today. Um, I was just fishing a main flat, dragging it off a little deeper water. And there was a lot of rock up there, and they were just sitting on those rock, and they would just grab it when it came by. Second today was a Strike King KVD 1.5 square bill and just gizzard shad color. And I was using that to target the schools of shad that were out there. That's how I caught that one four pounder. They were just uh, blowing up right next to the boat, so I just threw it in there and he grabbed it within like the third or fourth turn of the handle and smoked it. And I had that on my G Loomis E6X 7 foot 1. This is a medium action rod. That paired up with a Shimano Casitas 6 3 to 1 gear ratio with 15 pounds monofilament. Um, I like the monofilament for my crankbaits because it gives you a little bit extra stretch so you don't straighten those hooks out as bad. And last was the football jig. I was throwing a 3 quarter ounce dirty jigs 
football head jig in spray grass color. And I had that paired up with a net bait baby packer crawl spring pumpkin trailer. And I was throwing that on my G. Loomis E6X 7 foot 5 heavy. I really like a long heavy rod for these big jigs. Especially when making a long cast, it really helps you get a good hook set on these fish and bite them into the boat. And I had that paired up with the Shimano Sitica 7 to 1 gear ratio. A high gear ratio is really good for making those long casts because a lot of times when they hit this jig, you got to take up a lot of line fast. And so that 7 to 1 really helps with that. And the way I was working this was I was just going down a bank that had a lot of deep brush and I was just parallel on the bank and just working it on the edge of those brush piles and that big fish smoked it. So, that's the tackle I was using today. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, this is, I'm new at this, this is my first video, so leave me a comment on any suggestions you have. Um, please like, subscribe, give me a follow.